Some libertarians are against the public school system. They would close down the public school system. Do you think this is a good thing, or do you believe in that? Well, I, I don't think the public school system has a real good record. I think the uh, educational quality is very, very low and getting lower all the time. I think that you can go to some of the big cities and you find out that it's, the schools are drug infested and crime infested and there's violence and very little education. More than a million kids drop out a year before they get their high school diploma. It's an armed uh, fortress. and. Uh, so we think the record is very poor, so we have concern about good education. And uh, of course, we want to go in the direction of uh, privatizing all schools. But in the very practical world of politics, uh, I don't think it's wise for me to say that tomorrow we could have private schools. I don't think it's likely to happen. So we can do a whole lot, set our ideals, work toward it, and we could change a whole lot. I think where we really have gone astray, has been in this century where we have gotten in the probably the last 30 or 40 years when we got the federal government involved. And the, the, the local governments have been involved in schools most of our history. And I think if we had the federal government out of it and the state governments and schools were controlled locally, although that wouldn't be perfect libertarianism, it would be a far cry better than what we have. But even short of doing all that, we as libertarians would really promote a little competition. We don't like monopolies when they're government monopolies because that's really the only, government, only monopoly you get. But a monopoly over school system is, is a great danger. So we would immediately introduce the idea, and we think it would help the schools right off. And that is allow tax credits or vouchers for people who want prayer in the schools. How can we force people to have prayer in school? You know, that's a violation of civil liberties. But what we could do is say, if you don't like the way your kids are being taught, let's allow you to have competition. Let's give you a tax credit or a voucher and go down the street and have the kind of school you want. So we would want competition. That, to me, would be a practical alternative uh, and moving in the right direction.